All remaining passengers, please proceed immediately to boarding at gate. Hey guys, this is Alex. I'm on my way to uh, Madison, Wisconsin, and I thought we could benefit from that uh, time just to do a little Q&A. And also, you know, to share a few stories along the way. Let's go. Why am I in Madison? Apart from the beautiful capital, of course. When I'm shooting a commercial for the main Wisconsin Dairy Association, they needed some expertise, some food expertise. Here I am, I deliver. So this one is very interesting. So as a frequent traveler, I find eating healthy very hard. How do you deal with not having a kitchen to cook and keeping healthy? Well, the, the answer is quite simple. You don't. When I travel, I eat sandwiches, greasy stuff, I eat in restaurant all the time, I eat on the go, it's just a nightmare. Okay, another question, where have I been traveling in the US? Well, not so many places in fact, I've been to New York a few times, I've been to Chicago, I've been to uh, Wisconsin, I think that's it. I've been to California once, this is it. <laughs> What are some good meals to cook that are still nice to eat after leaving them for a few hours in the backpack? A sandwich, if it's not too moist, it still works. Um, croissant, definitely not. <laughs> wine, wine does very well. You know what? I think a bottle of wine will hold up pretty nicely in the backpack. So this shot is operated by Elena. Can you say salut to the camera? Salut! Thank you so much. This is the first time me having cheese curd in Wisconsin. I think it's a small step for the Frenchman, but a big step for humanity. Shut up, Alex. Good there. It's not squeaky. It's melty. Yeah. Let's have another one. How would you improve airline food, you know, the meals you get on long flights? And uh, what is your favorite British meal? So that's two questions. You don't get this advantage. <laughs> I'm gonna pick the first one. So usually I do improve uh, airline food by just remixing the stuff. By making a sandwich, usually you can get a nice texture and also a bit of everything, which kind of works. But in fact, I do have a way to uh, improve, you know, even further airline food. Just get some food before you get on the plane. Juicy burgers or whatever. And that's the only way to have like, a, you know, a really stunning meal and also to piss everybody around you. It's gonna be even better this way. <laughs> Another question. When I travel, do I like street food or high quality restaurant food? Street food is my, my thing. The reason is you can really feel what's happening in a city from the street. Yeah, but I also need to take into account that I am often traveling alone, so <laughs> going to a very fancy restaurant all by yourself, mm, it's not that fun. Excuse me, Alex, ready? Yeah? Okay, I gotta go, guys. Good. Just wanted to show you the set real quick. They're working, so let's have a look. Okay, let's split. Why don't you make videos in French? That's one hell of a question that I get to see very often on my channel. Well, if I were to do this in French, the content would simply be less universal. So that's the reason why I'm doing this in English. Uh, what do I miss the most when I travel? I miss simplicity the most. I miss those, you know, simple vegetables sauté in a pan, along with a bit of rice or just plain pasta. That's what I miss. Uh, are you planning to go to Texas? Oh yes, I am. <laughs> so bad, I want to taste all those, you know, luscious barbecue. The thing is, I need to find an opportunity to get there. Okay. Okay, guys. I want to share with you what I just ordered uh, out of Amazon. Amazon in France and Amazon in the US are not the same. I can get stuff that are completely unavailable to me in France. So... Not power drill. Uh, Impact driver. Uh, reciprocating saw. Uh, how am I gonna get through the airport custom with all this? Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a nightmare, but I'll find a way. Yeah. Okay, so what city has the best food? Well, you know I'm a bit biased, so let's put Paris aside. I would say that probably London has the best food. It's, it's, it's even very surprising for me, but it's the case. It's super multicultural. You can find everything in London. Just, you know, a tad pricey. That's the problem. 
Okay, so let's talk about the most regrettable thing I ate while traveling. I tasted bugs, but they don't taste that bad. Pizza is probably the answer, exactly. Because I had terrible, I had terrible pizza abroad. I'm a bit picky when it comes to pizza. I don't know. Yeah. Hi everyone. <laughs> what? So I'm just gonna be looking for a question and then try to answer it on camera. Okay. I think you can. Uh, <laughs> you can okay, go so away. You can let's do it. Let's do it. Hey. Have you ever been to Southeast Asia? Yes, I have been to those places. I love, you know, Southeast Asia so much. I think this is the place on earth where you get the most balanced food. Sweetness, saltiness, freshness, even a bit of bitterness, and then in terms of texture, it's the same. It's probably one of my favorite food in the world. Are there this? controls back there? I got my controls. Can we open this, you think? Let, 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 let me, let me. <laughs> I've always dreamed about having one like this. Wait a second. This is the final boarding call for the Well, so guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this q and It is the end of the Q&A and also the end of my trip. Uh, if any of your questions has been left uh, unanswered, please let me know down below or just wait for the next Q&A. Bye-bye. Salut.